Hey you guys, it's your girl Bree. I come with a quick little message. In life, we meet people, male or female. Some people in our life be a lesson, some people be a waste of time. But there's truly only one person that God has for you. That person that you hold dear in your heart, that person that you're willing to go to war for, that person that you're willing to fight for. But if that person is not recipiating that same thing to you, let that person go. And find you someone who does appreciate you. Somebody who does love you. Sometimes it's hard. It's very hard to let go of someone that you love. And you know that person loves you too. But that person is full of pride and ego. And that person feel like he has, he or she has something to prove to someone else. Let those type of people go. So that true love can really enter your life and help you along your way. See, sometimes you may feel like somebody else is your rebound, but that person comes into your life to help you heal from the pain and the heartbreak that you have been through. That person will help you get through everything that thought destroyed you. What that person had thought that destroyed you. Only you yourself know who you love and how much you really love them and if you're willing to fight for the love that you deserve. Sometimes we be so willing to give up on what we really want because we allow what those people have done to us, said about us, or how others going to perceive us. Is others going to look at us as being weak if we take back the person who has dogged us and did things to us even though that we love that person. Love is such a powerful thing. I don't care how much you say you don't love somebody, you do love them. It speaks in your actions of how much you love that person. And when you really love someone, it's hard to give up on them. It's hard to walk away from them. It's hard to start over without them. Please, if you're going to choose someone else, or if, you're gonna, if you choose to walk away from someone you really love, I need you to really sit down and evaluate it at every angle and make sure that's really what you want. That you really want to move on. That you really want to be done. Or do you really want to fight? You want to fight for the love that you know you deserve. Fight for the love that you know you want. A lot of people might be against you and the love that you want. But if that's what you really want, then fight for what you want. If that's not what you want, let it go. Because God will send you someone. He will send you someone to love you. But when his time is right. And if God has sent someone into your life to help you, to love you, to heal you after you have been broken, bruised, and beaten, don't hurt that person when that other person comes back around and tries to reconcile with you. I keep telling everybody this and I'm going to keep screaming until y'all get it. Having chemistry with someone is a dangerous, dangerous game. Because of the chemistry you have for someone, you will leave somebody that's doing everything right for that person. Just make sure that when you're making a decision, you're not making an emotional and rational decision. And you're doing what's best for you at all given times. Not to please your mom, and not to please your sister, not to please your home girl, not to please nobody but you. Because God will grant you your heart's desire. And if you feel like the person that broke your heart, the person that made you cry, the person that made you look stupid in these streets, if you feel like that's where you really want to be at, then be there. 